Hey up lads and lasses, Dan Fai here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. Today I wanted to cover a couple of... Um, technically they are exploits, but um, one of them for certain, it just it feels good and it looks good and it's a nice little skill you can pick up and use. Um, especially useful for both PvE and PvP. Uh, we've used this to drop on top of cities. It's called the Warp Drop. And uh, the other one I wanted to cover as well is Ghost Platforms. So, uh, we'll jump into it and I'll show you how these work and uh, give you some ideas on how you can use them. And yeah, go from there. So first up, because it's probably the more useful one of the two, um, that being said, it's definitely harder to pull off. And that is the warp drop. Um, some people refer to it as a hot drop. You might see some of the uh, PvP guys that are like later into servers that have worked this out uh, using this. Um, it's become a, quite a bit more common. Uh, I've seen multiple unions using this now, multiple alliances. So I thought I'd show you all and that way, you know, you've got the same information as they have. They don't have any advantage with this tactic at that point. Um, and then you can sort of, you know, work out what to expect, how to perform it and all that sort of stuff. So the premise of this is to literally have your fleet in warp flying over something and then stopping their warp uh, so they inevitably just drop down and land on where they need to go. So first off, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to have a fleet in a good position. I'm just doing a small jump here because it's going to be you know easy to show you, but you can do much larger than this and we'll talk about some of the sort of ideas you can use this for as well. Uh, so. I have my little combat fleet here uh, and we have this location here which is where I want it to end up. I have behind the location I have uh, a fleet here, it's got a miner in it to build an outpost and all we're going to do is right click, hit the build, start my outpost building like so. Uh, once that starts building we'll then move the fleet to land here via that outpost. So that's where it's going to get its warp from because it's going to go, oh, I can warp to that outpost now, it'll be fine. So it's going to warp over this and then we're going to cancel the building of the outpost and that's going to drop it down into warp onto the position you want it to go into, uh, in theory anyway. I haven't actually ever done one this small, so I'm not entirely sure if this one will work properly or not. But we'll find out uh, in like a minute and 30 I'll have a quick cut here as that outpost builds and show you. So here we go this outpost is now building it's going to be quite simple all we can do is going to right click here hit transfer you can use this for attack commands and uh, other stuff as well hit transfer hit your leviathan make sure that the outpost it's flying to that it's going to warp to is going to be the outpost that you are currently building you hit confirm and once it gets to the edge of uh, this outpost or this uh, op circle, you can see it's now in warp. So what you've got to do, and this is very detrimental to how this works, is get the timing right. As you can see, we are now warping over our target location. What you're going to be doing is waiting until it's right over the target location or close enough that you're going to click on your outpost and you're going to hit cancel. So now it's, you know, roughly getting to where I want it to be. I'm going to go to my outpost and hit abandon, confirm. As you can see, our fleet has dropped out of warp onto the target location. So why we call it a warp drop? Because it drops you out of warp. But as you can see, we're pretty much on top of where we want it to be. Some other people call it the hot drop because um, it sounds a bit cooler and understandable. I call it warp drop. Um, like I said, it's been used more and more frequently, so I thought I'd show you guys what it is because, um, you know, some people might not know. Let's get him out of the way. So, ideas for use of this and ways I've seen it using. Um, I believe there is a little mini hive sort of thing here, so give you an idea. 
say this was a hive and your hive was down here and as you well aware i'm sure if you've done much pvp when people blockade their hives they blockade the front section they tend to sort of ignore the mid and rear because getting around there's a pain in the butt however if you build a platform over here you could have your guys and you have to time this really well all of your guys need to be on the edge of the operation circle so they go into warp straight away and you go everyone warp to that uh, place now you set your maybe up circle down here using that outpost as its warp point they'll be warping over and as they get over you ignore the blockades completely you just fly over them you cancel out your outpost as it's hitting uh, over the top and where your target is and you all drop out of warp past the blockades it co causes like severe confusion to your enemy that you've just ignored their entire front blockade and now you're potentially on top of bases which are empty because they're they were at the front in their blockades it's a really nice way to stop the sort of meta of who can break through a blockade and stuff like that if you're smaller unions and stuff like that it's very useful uh, to hit the large unions that do do that because often you can't break through blockades uh, it's all about numbers blockades and that front row that they'll have set up and if you don't have as many as they do or they have more whales and you have more than you do etc you're just not going to break through end of the day so this is a nice way to get around that uh, I hope after this video they haven't patched it and fixed it because uh, I actually think this is quite a nice one again it is technically an exploit it's not how the game was intended to be played and how you know the warp mechanics are intended to be used um, but currently it works it's useful I think it works quite well and I quite like it so hopefully don't fix it we'll then talk about ghost out uh, ghost platforms or ghost outposts uh, and what they sort of do for you and why you use them and why you, you may want to consider using them in future uh, I'll go set that up and I'll cut over to that so ghost platforms what are they used for what can they do so first off you sit build you select what you want you can do this with platforms and outposts I'll do this with an outpost because it'll be a little bit quicker uh, you set your guy to go build it and then you just return him. You've retreated the guy that's going to build, but the outpost is still there. You can see this, the enemy can't see this, your allies can't see this, but this still counts as an operation. Moreover, you can't walk to it, which sucks a little bit, but if you're using this to stage from, it's quite useful because instead of having, say, like you would usually where you'd have, you know, your up circle, you'd have your guy waiting here and then you want it to fly over to, you know, the op over here. That's going to cost you 20 AP because AP is a pretty annoying resource to deal with. You try and reduce the amount of AP you're ever using at any given point. Uh, you know, trying to be more efficient, especially if you're in a war and you're outnumbered because they will and can just AP burn you out quite simply and there's nothing you can do about it. You might be better than them as a union, but if they have more players than you and you're wasting your AP trying to shoot, well, hit loads of things and trying to move around to different locations, you're going to be burning 20 AP on these outposts quite a lot. What this does it's quite simply allows you to move from here four five ap to any other uh, operation you have so it's nice and simple instead of costing you 20 ap it's like you left your base or leaving or coming from you know, your own outposts or platforms it's only going to cost you five ap it's cost you no resources and it was extremely simple to do as demonstrated so they are two sort of exploits because it's not the way the game was intended and don't even argue it with me because just go look up a definition of video game exploit and it's quite obvious i don't believe uh this one might need fixing maybe um to an extent like there's pros and cons of keeping this one in the game 
The other one, I believe they should just leave and keep in the game. So devs, if you're watching, do not kill warp drops because A, they're fun. Two, in unions, when you have multiple warp drops, you have one guy controlling the drop point. Getting all your guys to jump at the same time, really damn hard. So, you know, to pull off you know, effective warp drops, it takes skill it's a uh, you know it requires good timing and good communication with your union and i don't feel that um it generally doesn't affect the game too much if anything it helps the game and it stops the monotony of uh, just blockades uh, everywhere and stuff like that so there you go two one to save you a bit of ap if you are hopping about and the other one just a really nice interesting exploit that you can use and it does work really well like i said i've used it on uh, cities it's a great way for the aggro cities to just try and drop on top of the aggressive cities straight away uh, and then you can bait out some fleets and stuff with other fleets on the borders so then you just drop straight down and then you're hitting it straight away it's quite a cool little uh, way to take over the cities um as to people asking for city guys, it's on its way. It's just really, really difficult in the current situation of the server I'm in to actually get any of that done. Um, so, as your exploit video, I'll be off to record the rest of the graphic stuff today as well. And I'll be pumping those out over the course of this week and next week. Uh, so yeah. Oh, and an interview coming up with the devs. That could be an interesting one. So, have a good one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.